Hello everyone, this is the Unify G4 Instant. Today we are diving into a head-to-head -head comparison of two popular Unify wireless cameras, the G4 Instant and the G3 Instant. Let's get started. So this is the box of the Unify G4 Instant as you can see this is label so you have to remove the plastic first I mean it's a pretty old package and the new package you don't get any plastic thing so it's simply after you remove the plastic you have to simply open it up and as soon as you open up you will see the G4 Instant camera it looks quite similar to the G4 Instant we'll check about it uh, and after that you get pretty similar stuff this is a scan process you where you scan it and you can get started and the same boxing you will get the type c cable for to power and this is the power adapter so we will keep it aside and here are some mounting tools like this is the wall mount where you will mount on the tools and these are some stickers where you will mount on the tool and here you also get this mounting this is a mounting plate you will mount it on a wall and place it here like this so this will fix on a wall so i think this is this is some tools like screws and for the mounting so this is the unified g4 instant we'll check more about it what extra features you will get from the G3 Instant. Check out the G3 Instant and the G4 Instant Unify cameras side by side. You will see the differences in the sizes and the weight. By looking on both the cameras, you will see the size differences. The G3 Instant is smaller as compared to the G4 Instant. G4 Instant look quite bigger as compared to the G3 Instant. If you check the weight, you will see the differences the g4 instant weighed much more than the g3 instant and on the front side you will see the sensor size differences and the speaker is also bigger as compared to the g3 instant on the back you will see the same design and on the bottom you will see both cameras support type c and the power cable is included inside the box and the reset position is same on both the cameras the g4 instant has some extra features like it got weatherproofing ipx5 rating whereas the g3 instant does not have any rating and the sensor size is bigger in g4 instant is 5 mp cmos whereas the g3 instant only have a 2 mp cmos so we'll check more about the G4 and the G3 instant comparison. So now what I'll do, I will power it on and set it in on in our Unify Protect cameras and check more features of both the cameras. So this is the first time we are powering the G4 instant. This is the camera and this is the type C cable, which is included in the box. So on the bottom, uh, you get this thing. You have to press it and it will open up a lid on it and there is a um, C sign there and here you have to put the cable from here slowly you have to keep it so this is how you will the cable and you have to press it again and now what you will do you have to power it put in on the adapter and then you have to power it on so you see it says welcome to unify protect so now what we'll do i will connect uh, this camera uh, using the unify protect app and these unify g4 instant cameras support both 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band and you can adopt it using bluetooth so any of the unify access point we support ble so it will get connected and it will discover on the unify prototype so now you can see it says ready to adopt so i will place it down here 
and I will open the Unify Protect app and adopt it. So I will adopt the Unify G4 Instant Camera on the Unify Protect app. As you can see on the screen, I have that app. So I will open the Unify G4 Instant and I'm running the Unify Cloud Gen 2 Plus. Uh, so I will check the Unify G4 Instant. As you can see here, it says tap to adopt so i will click on adopt so right now it is adopted as you can see here it is restoring camera setup completed ready to stream it says camera setup completed ready to stream so we'll check the stream as you can see my screen here right now this is the unified v4 instant we can check the settings here camera settings here so G4 instant microphone is showing 100%, the night vision is set to auto and I will check the status sound. You can adjust the camera picture here. Right now everything is set to default 50-50%. Right now you can check it's preparing update, it's going on an update and you can check the connection status here. Right now it's connected to access point so now what we'll do we will uh, compare it with the unify g3 instant the recording i mean the playback uh, recording the cameras quality and everything and we will see the side by side differences of both the camera this is the unify g3 and the g4 instant side by side comparison you can see uh, both the cameras are adopted and updated to the latest firmware version uh, I've just adopted the G4 instant and you can see the blue color LED showing status on the front and now what we'll check we'll check the side by side of comparison of both the G4 and the G3 instant cameras so you can see I'm waving hand on both the cameras G3 as well as G4 instant you can let me know who has got better resolutions and the better image quality so here you can see the both the differences after light got turned off and you can see the speaker voice also on both the G4 as well as the G3 instance you can see the differences of the image on both and the video quality so I will check the G4 and the G3 instant uh, comparison on the Unify Protect. Uh, so I have access the unify.ui.com and the screen you can see there is a uh, release note showing for the Unify Protect application 4.1. So you can check for both everything like what what new features added with, like the shortcuts, uh, uh, custom dashboard grade, uh, archive to NAS. So these new new features are updated like if you have a ring doorbell everything so you can update the chime custom ringtone everything so uh, here uh, it shows uh, you can enable the smart detection so right now i'm using the g3 and sorry the g4 instant so where you can enable the smart detection so the smart detection has been enabled so uh, today we will check only two cameras uh, the G4 and the G3 instant so what I will do I will go to the dashboard and I will add the views only I will drop the cameras G3 and the G4 and I will save it so right now you can see the side by side comparison of both the G4 and the this is the image quality of the G3 instant you can see here and now you check for the G4 instant. So this is the image quality of the G4 instant. So we move the camera a little more behind that you can see the image quality of both the G4 and the G3 instant. The viewing angle, both the cameras are placed side by side. So as you can see, the G3 instant viewing angle is uh, much better. Uh, as compared to the G4 instant but the image quality you will see on the G4 instant uh, is uh, I mean better as compared to the G4 instant you can see side by side both the camera now we we'll check the differences what differences uh, actually you get both the cameras 
uh, as compared to the hardware and the internal what are the differences you got so basically the g4 instant cameras is the 2k 4 megapixel and whereas uh, the g3 instant cameras are the sd cameras and both support the frame rate of 30 fps and the benefit of the g4 instant cameras it support weatherproofing like ipx5 rating so you can see the side by side qualities of both the cameras here and uh, you can take a snapshot I'll, I'll take a snapshot of uh, both the cameras and you will see the differences and i'll take a snapshot for g4 also so now what i will open the techspecs.ui.com where you see the comparison of both the cameras so i have to check for the com compact one so here on the screen you see the g4 as well as the g3 instead so you will see the dimension differences also also as i said the weight you will feel the g3 instant is lighter 78 gram as compared to the g4 instant which is heavier and both the enclosure material supports polycarbonate and it got ipx5 weatherproofing where g3 does not have any rating the resistance is ik04 but it does not support on the G3 instant. The sensor is also high, 5 MPC MOS and 2 MPC MOS. And the focal length, you will see the differences. It's got a fixed focal length and 2.8 mm lens, aperture 1.6, and whereas it got 2.8 same focal length as well as the aperture of f2.0. And the view angle, you can see one one or two point four degree. Whereas here the viewing angle is high, it's a 11.3 degree and both the cameras support built-in IR LED illumination and IR cut filter and the resolution is 4 megapixel as you can see 16 by 9, uh, 2688 into 1512 and it is 2 megapixel 1920 into 1080, the frame rate is similar. And the maximum power consumption of the G4 instant cameras is 6 watt and the J3 is 5 watt and both are using the same power method 5 volt 2 ampere and the, the USB adapter power generator is included in the box as you have seen in the unboxing. And both support wall mount and both the cameras has microphone as this also the speaker is supported. So this is the snapshot of the G3 instant as you can see uh, the differences so now it will similarly open the G4 instant so here you can see uh, the quality image quality side by side of both the cameras so this was my comparison side to side of G4 instant and the G3 instant both the cameras are good as compared to the price and price point but if you want to look for a better image quality the 2k uh, where you can uh, in this cameras you can get the like uh, the smart detections in the g4 instant if you look for the here you can see uh, under the g4 instant you will see the options where you can detect the person right now you can see but uh, that is not available on the uh, g3 instant so you will get a uh, better features and the better image qualities in the g4 instant as compared to the g3 instant as you can see for each uh, you can look for the snapshot as well as uh, the image quality also is uh, higher as compared to the g3 instant so now if you are looking to purchase a compact cameras both cameras are great in compared to the price point but uh, at this point if you are looking to get the compact dex mounted or wall mounted cameras uh, i would suggest to uh, go with the g4 instant cameras so it is quite good uh, as it got a, a, a 2k 4 megapixel cameras also weatherproof you can uh, 
uh, mounted outside uh, it got a rating of ipx5 and um, it got a detection also it can detect the person uh, whereas the g3 instant as you can see here i have both the cameras here so so the quite differences in the size as well as the sensor everything so i think uh, that's it uh, for the today's video i hope you will like this video and if you want like this comparison in the future videos related to the unify protect and cameras make sure let me know in the comments thanks for watching bye